while other tourist areas are getting back to normal. Dollywood reopened this afternoon. In fact, the amusement park, named after, of course, country music legend Dolly Parton, was spared any damage. Her charity, though, the Dollywood Foundation, has pledged financial assistance to residents who lost their home in the deadly fires. The Gatlinburg area is such a destination for people to visit. Even people in the upstate are really feeling the loss from the fire. Sure, it's a, it's a personal sort of family vacation destination. 7 News reporter Laura Thomas talked with one local woman who is among those feeling the pain of loss. So look at the view. Vicki Ashley of Waterloo has been a timeshare owner at Westgate Smoky Mountain Resort in Gatlinburg since 2004. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful inside and the views, it just it's, can't be beat. She visited just a few weeks ago. When she heard about the fire, she couldn't believe it. I was watching TV and I saw what was going on and I, I was just, I really was devastated. The same building she stayed in and took pictures of in October burned to the ground. I praise the Lord that I was able to go the week that we went and I praise God that I did not, was not there doing it because I, being on oxygen, I would not have survived it. Westgate posted on its Facebook page that it will rebuild immediately. That's our message. We're going to be okay. The Gatlinburg and mayor spoke really about the tourist really town bouncing back at a news conference this week. If you really, really want to do something for Gatlinburg, we're going to be back on our feet in just a real short time. Come and visit us. Come back and, and vacation here. Come back and stay in our hotels and our condos and our chalets and and eat in our restaurants and, and enjoy our attractions. Ashley might wait a year or so before she visits again. Definitely want to go back, but I want to give them time to heal. Looking yeah. forward to her next trip while praying for their progress. I'm going to miss that, and I'm, I'm sure that in time it's going to build up, but I'm sure it's going to take a little time for that. So obviously she didn't lose any possessions or property up there, and her heart goes out to all the folks impacted by that. But you all feel sort of a, uh, an ownership with Gatlinburg. If you go yeah. to visit there, if your family goes there every year, you feel a loss when yeah, you see that happening. Before my grandfather died, we celebrated his 80th birthday in Gatlinburg. We went mm -hmm. in a place like so many people do, and it, it is like a part of you is connected to that town for so yeah. many folks. And you pay very close attention to what's happening there. Yeah. I'm so glad, and I'm, I expected to hear it, but I'm so glad to hear officially that they are going to, of course, rebuild. Absolutely. They will do so as fast as they can. Thanks, Absolutely. Laura. Thanks.